in this question the question says the P is moving parallel to vector I so if I is is generally the horizontal axis and J is vertical this question uh, the particle is moving in the direction parallel to I in other words its velocity is in this direction which means that the velocity has has no J component so the J component of the velocity is going to equal zero okay so the J component of velocity is zero now we start off with the uh, a position vector so in order to get the velocity we're going to need to differentiate that so the velocity will be the derivative of this equation so the velocity will be 8 t minus k so that's the i component and the j component will be 12 t squared plus 4 k t minus 8 so as I was saying up here um, if it's parallel if it's moving parallel to the vector i that means that all of this is going to equal 0 so 12 t squared plus 4 k t minus 8 equals 0 in the question that that happens when t equals 2 so when t equals 2 we've got 12 times by 2 squared plus 4k times 2 minus 8 and if we simplify this that's going to give us 48 plus 8k minus 8 equals 0 in other words 8k is going to equal minus 40 and that gives us k is minus 5 in part 2 it's talking about the acceleration so I've kept the velocity equation on the screen because we're going to need to differentiate that now to get the acceleration so the acceleration is 8i 8 8i 8 plus 24t plus 4k and that's all that will be the j component um, in the question it says that find the values of t when the magnitude of the acceleration is 10 the magnitude <coughs> to find the magnitude of the acceleration we need to use uh, Pythagoras' theorem um, so 8 squared plus all of this squared will equal um, will equal 10 squared uh, so the, the magnitude of the acceleration is is the square root of that um, so it will equal 100 now don't forget that in the previous question we found that um, sorry k is minus 5 so this equation now becomes 8 squared plus 24t minus 20 squared equals 100 and I think you'll find it if we re rearrange this it will give us 24 T minus 20 equals 
100 minus 64, so that's 36. So that would be plus or minus 6 when we square root. Um, that will give us 24t equals um, either plus 26. Um, so that gives us 26 over 24, which is 13 over 12, or 24t would equal uh, minus 6 plus 20, so that's 14. So the other value would be 14 over 24, which is 7 over 12. So those are the two values of t.